G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video is a fast way of multiplying binomial and trinomial algebraic expressions together. Okay, so uh, this is a this is this is basically coming after a video where we looked at a fast way of multiplying binomial expressions together, two binomials, and I'll, I'll put a link for that up. And the next one I'm going to be looking at multiplying uh, fast way of multiplying trinomials, and then we're going to look at polynomials, and then all sorts of things like this. So. Uh, it's a really, really great video if you're doing this particular part of algebra now. Also, what we're going to be doing with this is I'm going to be showing you, say, the standard way of multiplying binomials and trinomials together, then a faster way of doing it, then I'm going to show you, just we'll go through some examples and, and look at how we can actually use this uh, to, to, to solve some everyday math questions. Okay, so an example of this might be where we go x plus 3 and x squared plus 2x plus 4. So we're going to multiply the contents of this brackets over here with the contents of these brackets over here. Now, some of you guys might have done these already or started doing these and just be looking for a fast way, but I am going to show you the usual way just to cater for people who might never have done these before and be first starting out. So anyway, the way that we'd usually do this is we would have to get x here and we'd multiply that by x squared and then we'd get x and we'd multiply it by 2x and we'd get x and we'd multiply it by 4 and then we'd get 3 we'd multiply it by x squared we'd get 3 multiply it by 2x get 3 multiply it by 4 and then what we'd do is we'd put the, all the uh, what we got and we'd make them all we'd put them all group them together in like terms and we'd end up with our answer and it's not too bad so I'll show you how we do this so first off x times x squared and this is probably the way that some people are used to doing this and they're, they're probably already thinking I know this already. So x times x squared is x cubed, okay? And then x times positive 2x is positive 2x squared. And then x times positive 4 is positive 4x. We go on to the 3 here, so 3 times x squared is positive 3x squared, we're going to end up with three, positive 3 times 2x, which is positive 6x, and then 3 times 4, which is 12. Okay, so then what we do is we end up grouping like terms. So x cubed, he's, all, he's the only one with a cubed up here. Okay, so we put him down, x cubed. Then what we do is we look for like terms with the squared here. So there's 2x squared and there's also a 3x squared. So these are called like terms. So 2x squared plus 3x squared is 5x squared. Probably the positive. Okay. Then I'll go to the next part, which is 4x. Now, are there any like terms to 4x? There is. It's 6x here, so we're going to end up putting those together. 4 and 6, so 10x plus 12. Okay, and that's our answer. Now, what I'm going to show you now is a way of going pretty much from this step and skipping this step all together, going straight to our answer here. We're also going to be looking at how we can check our answer as well. Okay, so let's have a look at how we can actually skip this particular step here. Okay, so I'll rub out what we got there and I will show you how to do this. Now, the way we do this is as follows. So we first off, what we do is we look at these we get this first, this x cubed expression here. So because this is going to be all by itself, okay, so because we know this is the only thing that's going to be in x squared. There's going to be no like terms, okay? So x times x squared is x cubed. Then what we do is we leave a couple of spaces, all right? So we're going to leave one, two spaces for our uh, middle terms. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to get this last term. And the way we get this last term is we just multiply the end digits here, so three, times 4, which is positive 12. Okay. Now what we do is get, I'm basically going to label these as middle digits 1 and yeah, second lot of middle digits we're going to get. These are going to be the x squared ones and these are going to be the x ones. I'll show you how we do this. Now, this is all going to work on that same sort of rainbow multiplication that we were doing a bit earlier. So first off, we're going to get to get this part here the first of our middle expressions, we're going to multiply, rainbow multiply, these guys here, and these guys here. Okay? So, we do this, we get x times 2x, which is 2x squared, and then 
x squared times 3, which is 3x squared, so 2x squared plus 3x squared, which is 5x squared. Okay, and that's a positive. Then to get our next part, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this part, the, the, the x plus 3, we're going to now multiply, not here, but we're going to multiply, a rainbow multiply with these. Okay, so what we get is 4 times x, which is 4x, and 2x times 3, which is 3x. So 4x plus, uh, 2x times 3, which is 6x, I apologise. 6x plus 4x is 10x, okay? It's positive too. And there's our answer, okay? So we skipped all that step in the middle, and you will get faster at doing these, okay? So then I also said we can check our answer here. The way we do this is we substitute 1 into our equation. Now, oh, let's do that right now. So if we were to call this 1, okay? So we make this 1, and we're going to make x1. So 1 plus 3 is 4. And we're going to make x1 over here. So 1 plus 2x. 2x is 2 times 1, so 2. So 1 plus 2 is 2, plus 4. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7. I'm on 5 today, getting the wrong answers. Uh, 4 times 7 is 28. Okay, so we multiply these two numbers. 7 times 4 is 28. So all our answers here, the, the coefficients here, the numbers that you would consider to be in the front, should add, also add up to 28. So 1 plus 5, 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 10 is 16, plus 12 is 28. Okay, so these two numbers match. Our answer is good. Now, um, I just want to show you one other thing with this while, while we've got it up here, okay, which is this. So our answer is correct, and we, we know that because we, uh, we've done it two different ways. But I also just want to show you one other thing with this, so the way we can use this. We can also use this to do something like, if we were to make 10 to the equation here, uh, we can get rid of those. What we can do is we can, I'll show you, we, we would have put 10 in here, we'd end up with 10 plus 3, which is 13. It's the same as we'll put 10 into here. 10 squared is 100. 2x would become 20, and this would become 4, so 124, okay? This is the same as if we were to substitute x as being 10, it's the same as 13 times 124. Now look at this, and I'll show you what we get here with our answer. If we were to put our 2 down, okay, that's our 2 here. We're going to carry this 1 across to this now, so it's going to, 10 is going to become 11. I'm going to put the 1 with the first... The, the units 1 part of the 11 there. I'm going to carry the 1 over here. So 1 plus 5 is 6. And then we've got a 1 over here, which is 1,612. And that is actually true. If you multiply these guys together, you get the answer 1,612. It's pretty cool, right? All right, what about I'll give you one more example of this. All right. So rub that out. And I'll put one more example up. So the example I'm going to put up is, what about we try 2x plus 3. And then we go x squared plus 4x plus 7. And I'll try to make no mistakes on this. I'll try not to say anything incorrect. <laughs> I should be trying that anyway, right? So let's try this first off. Uh, we're going to get this first term, which is going to be 2x times x squared, which is going to be 2 x cubed okay then i'm going to leave a couple of blank spaces blank okay blank space number one and then blank space number two and then i'm going to get seven times three which is positive 21 okay cool all right now let's do this uh rainbow multiplication so i start out i'm going to do it with these guys here okay to get this particular term here okay so we're going to end up with eight x squared and we're going to end up with just 8, sorry, 8x squared, and we're going to end up with 3x squared, okay? So 8x squared plus 3x squared is positive 11x squared. Okay, then I'll rub this. So we've got that bit, we've worked that out, I'll get rid of these, and now we're going to, to get this next part, we're going to rainbow multiply these guys, okay? So we end up with, 2x times 7, which is 14x, and we're going to add that to 12x, okay? 4x times 3, which is 12x. So if we add 14 
to 12, what we're going to end up with is 26x. Oop, I'll rub that out, put it in the same colour. Positive 26x. I better put the positive there. And so that is a very wonky answer, but it, it is our answer nonetheless, okay? And we can check our answer here, which is always great practice. So we're going to put a 1 into our x's. So 2 plus 3 is 5. Uh, 1 plus 4 plus 7 is going to be 12. And we're going to multiply these. We get 5 times 12, which is 60. Okay, this becomes 2 plus 11 plus 26 plus 21. So let's add those together. 2 plus 11 is 13. Plus 26 is going to be 39 plus 21 is 60. Okay, so our answer is a good answer. And on top of this, what we could also do is we could say, well, now we're, we've worked that out, can we use this to actually, could we use this to actually work out, say, what 23 times 147 is? And we could do that also because we're going to get the answer of 1 here. We're going to, we can move this 2 across, so we're going to get that as 8. Okay, because we carry that across, this 2 is going to be carried over here, which is going to make that 13, so I'm going to put the 3 there, I'm going to carry the 1 here, and I'm going to get the answer of 3,381. Okay, so on the next video what we're going to be having a look at is we're going to look at multiplying trinomials and trinomials. Now, I recommend actually doing all these. I recommend doing this particular uh, thing where you're actually, you know, doing this uh, first off, this faster way of doing it, checking your answer, also doing this part here. I think it really just adds to everything and, and just makes everything gel really nicely when you're doing it. Okay, rather than being this strange sort of thing where you just got letters and it doesn't really feel like very much, okay? I think this consolidates it a whole lot more. Anyway, I'll put a link up for the next video. We'll see you next time. Bye.